It was amazing to see you guys just properly living in the moment. No devices, no gadgets, smiling, talking, and learning from each other. Good morning. Hello, good morning! The pirates have arrived. More than 90 children and parents from the UAE right here in Zanzibar at the Seeds of Light School with the CR Hope Foundation to yep, build a canteen we're going to be painting, we're going to be surprising the kids with some amazing things right here at the school and for our kids as well to be giving something back. So meaningful and cannot wait to see how surprised the kids are when they come back to school on Monday morning. Our organisation is Sia Hope Foundation. Uh, it's located in Kizimkazi village and uh, it's aimed on uh, supporting the underprivileged children in the, in the society of Kizimkazi village and we aim on giving them quality education and uh, support. We're here at the CR Hope Foundation in Kimikaze in Zanzibar and we're working with a school that pirates have been partnering with for a number of years. We're clearing the jungle here to put together an extraordinary chicken coop. I couldn't believe it, but they've got over 300 chickens here that are really important because we feed here 150 kids every day. Kids from all around the area that are going to now have a new canteen that's being built over here with the roof being put on at the moment by some of our bigger and stronger parents. We're painting up the canteen, we're refreshing the paint around the school walls, and we're tidying up, cleaning up all the pathways. It involves a bit of jungle clearing and quite a lot of jungle picking up as well. We helped out with weeding, like whacking weeds, um, to make space for planting trees. It's a stick bug. I named him Sticky. Sticky? Awesome. I think it was so beautiful that we could all get back to basics and see the way some people live. I think it, it really opened all our eyes to this simple life. Uh, where people have so little but they're still so happy um, and I think a lot of us didn't know what we were doing but when you have a positive mindset and you're open-minded uh, working together I think we achieved something really beautiful. What is all this rock up? Tell me! I've been so impressed.
impressed with our kids. They're so independent. Like, they're out on the Dow, they're jumping into the ocean. Some of these kids are six years old and they're just in there swimming, marveling at what's around them. And I mean, there's not many kids that you find at that age who are happy to be in an environment that's totally foreign to them. And they just embrace it. And it's, it's so impressive to see. Them. So the food is absolutely amazing. We actually went out, us and the three boys went out to catch all the lobsters over there, and there might be a clip of it later. And, and we cooked all of them with spices, garlic, all collected from the backlands over here. Amazing, amazing. I ate six of them, Anton ate five of them, Ollie ate 12 of them. He's a big, big boy. They can say that's so boom by yeah, but I ain't never met one like Yahweh, that's so by Go side. Like who made the decision that we go like sailing? Who made that decision? Why? 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 What's wrong with water? Why? Akuna Majata Eh Jambo Remember I always talk about that brain tattoo where you remember something for the rest of your life. It's something that like gives you goose fish. So who had that time here? I felt like very happy when I like helped the kids because, because I feel like I did something good. I felt so um, grateful for everything that we have and it just it was really cool to see how even though they don't have as much as we have, they're still smiling and happy. I love when they were like, when we gave them the toy, they were like playing so much. Going to that school and seeing that there are children who aren't as lucky as them, but getting stuck in and really involved with those kids was so magical. Everyone on this trip, well not only kids and parents, work really, really well together. I know that you guys are all from either different locations or different age groups, but everyone came together to work as a team. You guys know how to live life, right? I don't think I really saw anyone asking their parents for, can I have my iPhone, can I have the iPad, can I play on a device? I just saw smiles in the pool. I saw smiles around the table at dinner. I saw smiles in the bus. It's been amazing to come on this trip and just meet all the other pirate families from across the different Emirates. We're really excited to just have fun with them. But most of all, I think what's benefited my child at least is just seeing different culture, seeing what it's like for other families and other children in different places and just getting stuck in and helping to build a chicken coop, helping to give out toys and just helping to care for those kids. When I saw like all the villages and I, and I like to see like smiles on the face when we gave them the rice. It was fun but tiring but at the end of the day you know these people they do more than you they're less privileged so it's good to help and I feel happy because we are helping people that don't have much stuff like we do. We are privileged. Do you ever stop to think, will we have enough food for dinner? Does that ever cross your mind? Now those little kids who are your age, even younger, it crosses their mind. Those kids, just because they're from another country, from another village, doesn't mean they think any different. They have exactly the same needs that you are. They feel sad, they feel scared, they feel nervous, they feel unsure. So they are exactly the same. So if you guys can ever make a difference, a tiny little difference, always do it, always be thankful. We live a very privileged life. Yeah. Yes, we do. All right, so you go back from this trip and you look at your mom and dad in the eyes and you say, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is it you found? A super duper bat scratcher. So never forget, you can have fun with nothing. You don't need gadgets, you don't need the TV, you 
don't need your mobile phones. You have each other. family it's the ongoing kind of the ethos of we're a family we're this we're that but it really really is true I've been so blown away by how the kids all look out for each other there's like the unity the, the network within the kids of the older ones are looking out for the little ones the parents are looking after everyone it's, it really is a sense of family my children all put on their Christmas list that they want to go on every pirates holiday that there is that they don't want to go on any other holiday it gives us as a family something to do together it gives the children a community to hang out with we see parts of the world and give back to communities we'd never be able to otherwise. And it's just, it, it's like an experience you can't imagine until you're on it, and then it's addictive. I didn't touch. It's never gonna work. Apparently the ref has gone on a sabbatical because there's been some vicious tackles out here. loads of fun and if you want to come here it's absolutely amazing it's a little island called Zanzibar and of course a huge thank you to our partners Equity, FateFit, GTV, Atlantis AquaVenture, Fitness First, Alec Fit Out and GMC Clinics as without you none of this would be possible. So thank you.